Hi, I'm Ben, and I'm going to show you how I screencast my iPad. All right, first things first. I'm using two pieces of hardware, my iPad and my Mac desktop. I'm also using two pieces of software, Camtasia for Mac and the Reflector app for Mac. Now, if you're working on Windows, you can use Camtasia Studio for Windows, and you can use the Reflector app as well, or if you'd like, you can use the Air Server application. All right, so my first step is to go start the Reflector app. Once I've got that up and running, I can go to my AirPlay options on my iOS device, and I can turn on mirroring. So now that I can see my iPad on my desktop, and you can see I can interact with it just like I normally would, I can go ahead and go up to the device menu and enter full screen. When I do this, it eliminates all the distracting files and folders and anything else that might be on the desktop. However, for this video, I'm going to be showing you Camtasia, so I'm going to exit full screen. All right, so I'm going to go to my Camtasia recording menu, and when I start up this recording, I'm going to go ahead and select a recording region that's very similar to the size of my iPad. In this case, it's the YouTube HD 720p option. Now, if I turn on system audio, then that means I can also record all of the audio that's coming out of my iPad to make my screencast easier to understand. So I'm going to click the record button. I'm going to adjust my recording window. That looks pretty good. And then I'm going to click record. Now that I have my iPad mirrored on my display and I have Camtasia running, I can go ahead and demo any app that I want to complete with audio so that way my users have the most professionally sounding and appearing screencast that I'm capable of doing. Ha! Take that zombie yeti, you're not getting my plants today. Just a word of warning, uh, playing Plants vs. Zombies at work may not be the best use of your time, okay? Oh, uh, uh, hey Pete, I'm just getting right on that email. For an extra level of immersion, use your computer's mouse or trackpad to point out important features of the iPad app that you're demoing, or even click on icons and buttons so you can use Camtasia's cursor effects to make it look as though you're manipulating the iPad with your mouse. This makes it easier for viewers to follow since you can't really show off using the touch interface accurately when using AirPlay mirroring. And that's how I screencast with my iPad. Happy padding and enjoy your screencasting.